Hello guys, I'm going to show you a simple way on how I edit manually the AI contents that I load up in my website. For example, right here, this website gowandertoday.com which I built about 8 weeks ago and second week of Google second week of June, Google has started picking up some uh, impressions, giving some impressions, and slowly the rankings are increasing. Okay, but there are pages that, you know, ranking 15 and above, which uh, we know if we are ranking uh, 10 plus or 15 plus on Google, we might not get traffic for those pages. So what I'm going to do here, uh, in order for you to uh, modify uh, even just minor modification on the AI contents. This will, you know, trigger Google that you have made some modification on your content in order for Google to repick, uh, it will repick up your content or you can manually uh, submit it again using URL inspection. But, you know, it's not necessary because uh, it will automatically get detected by Google if there are updates happening on your website, especially if most of your pages are indexed on Google. So here in the position right here, we we'll sort this by highest position. So if you see right here, I've got 1.8 as my highest position, which is the home page right there. And we scroll down right here. These are the pages that are ranking within top 10 of Google. So there are already several pages on the top 10 of Google. So we move further. I don't want to touch initially those pages that are ranking already uh, within the top 15 because I might exploit them. And, you know, uh, in a few weeks or in a few days, they may increase some ranking uh, automatically. So I don't want to touch them right now. But what we're going to do here is, uh, for example, this one that are already ranking 16. Look at this one, 16. And look at the, the impressions already building up. And if we move further, so look at this one, 419 impressions and ranking on 16, 439. So the simplest way you can do is uh, go to that page go to that page itself you have to make a list okay make sure you do a list of which pages you are you already modified anyway you will see that in your edit um, uh, date on your wordpress so go to this page now this is the article that is currently uh, averaging 16.4 ranking but it's getting good impressions so we may uh, you know add need to edit a little bit in this page in order to pick up some more rankings so i go to this page right here so this is that ai uh, generated content which is not a crappy article because we use the article ai generator to edit uh, to generate this content it has decent number of words that that's why it's ranking on google and it's seo friendly so what we do right here is we click this edit post okay now it's not necessary you edit word by word the simplest way I'm going to do here, for example, this one, factors influencing travel time, let's say. So here you can select some paragraph section, let's say here, this one right here. You copy this three paragraphs. So first, let's check this to uh, this one, zero GPT. And as we know, these are AI generated content. So of course, it will appear as 100% AI. So what I'm going to do here, come over to this website, AI bypass filter, or you can use any other human humanizer website. But I prefer to use this one because it's simple and uh, you can use it unlimited. There's no limit of using this website. I'm going to put the uh, link in the description below, although it has a character limit of 2,500. So for best result, enter one paragraph at a time. But that's fine. My advice is you enter those paragraphs that don't have don't have formatting. Okay, so just like that, and click on process AI bypass. Now that it's completed the process, so let's uh, let's uh, let's recheck this. Okay, it may reduce some words, but that's okay because at least now when we check again, when we check this uh, content again, as you see here, zero percent uh, AI content. So what we simply do is copy this, copy this newly content generated content right here. Make sure you paste it in a uh, plain document so we don't copy any formatting. Come back here and, you know, replace this, okay? Replace that, right? Just like that. Now you do that uh, for like maybe two to three sections right here. So I'm going to do it again here. Control C. And again, let's uh, process this. So this is the result right here. Again, I'm going to check this to zero GPT. It's okay if it has 10% AI content or 20% AI content. The thing here is we modify some of the contents. It doesn't have to be major modification, but we, we are making some updates to some sections. So look at this again, uh, zero uh, percent GPT. So we can again copy this and make sure you paste that in a plain document. So it won't have any formatting. And here, you paste it right here. So do that for two to three paragraphs. I tried this before in some of my websites, so I can see some increase of rankings. And here, oh, I'm saying, guys, it's not guaranteed, but it will help you. It will help to trigger Google that at least you made some updates in your content. Just like that. Okay. And you update it. Update that. Now you made some modification. All right. So you can do that for those pages that 
you know, receiving impressions, but you know, the rankings are not that good. For example, this one, 439, I'm gonna edit that next. Okay, make a list, you can export this, you can export your um, result in your Google Search Console. Always add your website in Google Search Console so you can monitor the rankings. So you can do further, like for example, this one, 262, but ranking 27. So you can do the same thing, this one, 178, okay? So before this ends, I wanted to add more contents on this website because the more content you have, you know, the better you get some tractions on Google, okay? You don't need to do spammy contents. You don't spam your website. You you have to add content strategically, like publish three to five contents daily or a safe number will be uh, maybe three, okay? Publish them. This one, I'm going to add this 10 more contents, but in draft mode. But you have to do strategically, like, if you have 10 drafts content, come back each day and publish three, okay? So I'm going to generate more because I want to uh, get more traction on Google. So I'm gonna use chat uh, article AI generator. You don't have to use this, guys. You can do chat GPT. But uh, in my workflow, I always use this to add more contents on my website and get traction. And here, as you can see, the writer engine, by default, it's GPT-40 mini, so it's writing pretty well. And since I'm publishing this uh, on my WordPress, I'm going to generate a table because that is also appealing uh, to your in your article when a, a reader see your table so it displays data in a readable format okay now i'm going to generate image so this is this my website is all about travel so i'm going to publish this greenland um topic about uh you know greenland tour if you're planning to go on tour in greenland so yeah and here i'm going to auto post that to my wordpress website which is this one go wander today and i'm going to set that into draft and here we go generate blog articles and you see right here, all the 10 articles that we generated have successfully been posted to our WordPress. You see the post ID. So we can go now and see the post. And these are the draft uh, articles. So let's take a look. One article right here. How many days do you need to visit Greenland? So let's preview this. And look at this. We've got a pretty nice featured image right there. And our, you know, SEO friendly article. Look at this. We have a table right here that shows you some itinerary, which is very attractive and very helpful for your readers right there. So yes, yeah, just scroll down. There are lots of, you know, lots of uh, uh, informational uh, content that's given in this article for our readers and it's not a crappy one okay look at the table right here it shows you some data and yeah for the rest of the articles it will be like that do i need a visa to visit greenland so let's just take a look at this one it's a pretty nice image again and you know provided you enough information for your readers because it's generated using gpt4 o mini so at least some of the information here will be you know enough to uh, give information to your readers right there and since these are in draft mode so you can come here daily and publish three so publish three at a time if you want to do that automatically you can install this plugin which i'm going to show you go to plugins and click add new plugin search this plugin called auto post scheduler Install this plugin by Super Bloodney, this Autopost scheduler uh, right here. So install that. So once you activate that plugin, go to settings, and here you can see that Autopost scheduler. And here, what setup you need to do is start scheduling delay. Okay, so this is you are telling Autopost scheduler to start in uh, you know in an hour, okay, in one hour. And this one right here, Autopost schedule. So the scheduler will run every twenty four hours, or you can just simply select day and just put one okay so every every day it will run this auto post scheduler it will run once daily okay now make sure you select post and this one you can leave it you can leave this unselected so it will go through all the categories here you tick drafts so it will check those that are in draft mode you can uncheck this pending okay and here number of posts the number of eligible posts to publish you just set it to uh one all right and max post per day you set it to three okay now here uh, make it hours and make it every eight hours because uh, 24 uh, divided by three, it's eight hours. So every eight hours, it will publish one post right here in draft mode and maximum of three posts. And then you click on update options and then make sure you click this enable auto post scheduler. Okay. So here you see the date right here. It will start in an hour. All right. This one right here, it will start publishing your post in an hour. So you don't have to come back again. You just keep on adding articles in your website and Autopost Scheduler will publish it for you. And I think that's about it, guys. And hopefully you learned something from this video. And if uh, it did, please uh, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you.